where we are right now, it's 379. That's 16 cents lower than the average for Hampton Roads. Let me step out of the way here so you can see how packed these pumps are. They, these folks have been waiting for a while, waiting for the opportunity to save some money. And I'm told while prices are high, tourism may be at an all time high as well, despite what you're paying at the pump. As we are looking at prices, let's compare. The average in Virginia is 398. Here in Hampton Roads, it's 395, and that's a 56 cent increase from just last week. We're all feeling the pain at the pump, but is the plateau coming? We haven't reached our peak yet, I don't believe. Holly Dalby from AAA says the Russian Ukraine conflict, plus the higher price of crude oil, the decrease in stock for crude oil, and the increased demand all leads to higher prices. We're going to see demand increase throughout the summer, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that combined with the um, higher price of crude oil is just going to make the price of the pump go up. Demand due to summer travel. While the gas prices are going up, and are going to be a burden to some, it may be to our advantage of people coming here for looking for something to do that is a little bit more reasonably priced and they don't have to travel that far. CEO of Visit Norfolk, Kurt Kraus, says there are 72 million people one gas tank away. He's hoping people will take advantage of the local tourism. Can they afford another dollar a gallon? Don't know. $2 a gallon, don't know. But what about those people that were going to fly somewhere, that were going to fly to Orlando or fly to Yellowstone? Um, this might be a more reasonable price option. And for more information on how you can save on fuel, head to our website, WTKR.com.